Hello guys, gals, non-binary pals. Welcome back to my channel. And today, we're gonna go over something called team craft. Now, if you're a crafter, gatherer, or someone who just plays a game, knowing how to use this application would like, honestly help you with whatever you're doing. So, I'll go over all 32 features. I mean, there's a lot to get through. So, let's get to it. So, uh, I'm using the desktop version, which I'll put a link where you can download it here. And you can also use the website version and you can visit here. And all links and stuff will be in my description. There's a lot here and it might look a little bit daunting at first, but everything is already neatly organized. So, here's a search. I mean, yeah, it's a search, but there's a lot to it. So let's just look at Night Pepper. And um, here it is. But when you click it, it literally shows everything. It shows, you can go here for the market board information, see like what's the cheapest price on what server in your data center. Usually when I'm buying a lot of something, I would just sort by quantity. So I could just go, who has the most stacks 99, I would go and buy it can see you know what's been last bought and then you can see where to gather it you can see like the exact location you can see what it's used for it's just it's awesome and uh you know you can click these and they'll link you to websites like garland tools and you know universalis which is you know this is basically just all the market board information where it's being pulled from but yeah so search function it's really nice you can use it for anything mounts you know crafting items whatever so here's the list and i actually had to reset everything so i lost a lot of my list but you can you know go through it and make some better ones and so yeah so if you want to make a new list you can click here but since i already have you know made an exarchic list i'll use this one so let's open it and i'll actually create some lists and link them in the description so you have some of my favorite lists and you know you can look through and see like hey this is actually like really good profit for me on my server so and the way you can check profit is you can click here on pricing mode and um, depending on your list it will take like quite a while for it to load but this one isn't that big so it should not take that long and I actually already scanned it but just to make sure I'm just going to rescan it so if you already have like some of the materials you can just deselect them like I did here but since I want all the materials i want to buy every single one even if i bought all of them i would make 7.9 mil and i would receive in profit 6.7 mil so it's a really really nice to see like am i actually making profit and how much money would i you know save if i went and gathered everything and it really matters like yeah okay i could gather everything but is a million really worth my time when i can buy everything in like 10 minutes get to crafting immediately and make this much right now so yeah that's one thing to look for and um so you can go back to your list and it's really nice they broke it down very nicely so all of the time nodes are up at the very top oh and the crystals tab are right here so you can see like how much you'll need and they're all here you can click it and add an alarm I already have some alarms for these so they're in blue I'll tell you what folklore books you need to go and gather them yourself. They'll tell you, you know, where it is, what time it'll spawn, when it will spawn. It can tell you, like, you can also buy this with scripts. This is how many you'll need. This is where you can, like, turn them in. And um, it also tells you, oh, you can reduce this with the theory of reduction. And it will tell you what nodes from what item and where they're located. You can also add an alarm and add it to a list. And uh, yeah, so after that, it's like, 
The next one is tomes, tokens, and scripts. It will tell you, you know, how many tomes you'll need for all these. And then down here is just uh, the normal gathered items. Of course, it shows you, you know, where's the node and such. And then, oh, dungeon drops or other different types of currencies. So, you know, you can buy this with bicolored gemstones. If you want to kill mobs, this is where the mobs are and it will show you. So as you go on, your list will fill up. This blue bar will fill up and, you know, you just complete them. If you want to complete the list completely, you can just click here. And then it will finish it all for you. And after you do that, it will give you the option to empty, delete, archive, reset, or do nothing. And be careful of these because they will literally empty and delete the list. But normally you would just want to reset it because you don't want to delete it. And there you go. It's all fresh and new. And when you have packet capturing on, you have a little tick box here. And uh, you can select that. And as you're gathering in the game, your items will, you know, refresh. And it will show, like, you gather three more, you gather three more, you gather three more. And it will, you know, gradually go up as you gather. And if you already have stuff in your inventory for this list, you can just click here and it will fill it in uh immediately so that's also very nice so up here yeah there's a whole bunch of things you can do you can like favorite it also you know share it i can add alarms for everything in this list so that's all for lists uh what lists you can make are so i recommend and of course like i said i'll put this in the description but i recommend every patch make a list for the current job gear current job weapons current crafting gathering gear, current crafting gathering tools, and then for each of those, they're intermediate materials. So the, the lumbers and cloths that you, you know, you still craft, but it's like the craft for the craft. So make that as well, because sometimes those materials will sell better than the gear itself. Uh, also what you can do, so I have some old ones here. I just wanted one just for all the Aether Sands, you know, and here they are. And, you know, it shows you can reduce them, you know, where you can buy them, where you can gather them. It's very nice. You could do that for anything. Uh, another thing you can do is, let's say you're crafting uh, Sublime Solutions and Slither Sands. Here we go. So, Sublime Solutions with scripts. I just uh, took something... And I prefer to craft, so it was the rarefied mithril ring. And I knew that 500 of these, I could buy 200 of the sublime solutions. So if I go here and fill prices based on market board prices, and then we can see oh my, we lose money. Mm -mm. Because really, sure, you're, you know, you're gathering it yourself you're not necessarily losing money but you could just sell the the demithrite sand mithrite sand all this and make way more money than just you know buying and selling the sublime solutions so that's one thing to keep in mind and one list you can make you can do it for slither sand or anything else even materia and another thing you can make, like materia, if you are transmuting a lot, I have all that normally cheap materials that I would buy to transmute with. I would just go here to the pricing mode, I would fill it in, and I'll immediately get the cheapest prices on every server. Well, since I filled in my server only, I don't want that, so I would click here. And it'll go over my whole data center. So, yeah. That's it for lists. So, what's next is the crafting simulator. And it is it is what it sounds like. So, you can put in... this. Let's find an exarchic piece. And you can select it. And already, since I use this quite often, I already have everything set up with the food I would use the syrup I would use uh, but you can input anything you want you can see what food's the best for you what food would be best for the this specific craft what syrup would be best for this specific craft 
uh, if you have any FC buffs, how many, you know, HQ items you would need for your craft, how little you could use. You can input your stats here. You can put in if you're a specialist. You can apply that and then save it on your profile. So every time you make something with your blacksmith, it will be saved. You can do that by also going to your profile and uh, editing it here. So you could do that for every single one of these. And in, if you have multiple alts, then you can just select them here. So back to crafting simulator, we can basically just create rotation. And it's really nice because I'm sure you can do that in the game with the simulator that they have, but if you have food that you want to test or if you don't have all the materials or HQ materials, you can't, you can't test that. But here you can. And so I could easily finish it like this. But of course, if you're using a macro you don't want to use uh, the not 100% success rate actions. You literally just want to make something normal quality. This. Oh, wait, we broke it. Let's use that. Boop, boop, boop. All right, now it's crafted. And so once you have your rotation, then you could save this rotation. Oh, I saved it. I didn't want to do that, but that's okay <laughs> for the video. You could save as new, which would be better. You can rename it here. You can reset it. You can import from some external crafting optimizer. You can uh, export this rotation. You could import a game macro from in-game because they are written a bit differently. You can generate it, so you just copy this and go to your game, then like create a macro and paste that in. Uh, that doesn't work, apparently. You can share this, you can favorite it, and you can share it with the community. And we'll go over that later. So yeah, that's the crafting simulator. It's really useful and I use it all the time, especially when new gear comes out. So next is just the crafting rotations that you saved. And they're just all here. You can organize them very nicely. Obviously I, I didn't, but that's okay. You can do better than me. And uh, next one is gear set. I don't use this too often, but when a new tier comes around and I'm not lazy, I just, you know, import it from the balance whenever someone posts the Ariella link. And it's really nice because, you know, it shows you everything. It shows you your stats. It shows you, like, where to buy them, like, how much scripts you need to buy uh, for the materia. It shows, you know, just everything. It's very, very nice. And after that is inventory. And basically, you just go in the game and you like uh, open up your Chocobo saddlebag while this is on, and you just you can have everything here. You can price it all. You can just see how much you know what you got, how much it's worth. Like, oh wait, fourteen? Not really. This is already soul bound to me. But other things like there you scale. Blade of Revelry, I bought a lot of them, so you can see how much all the stuff you got is worth. It's very, very nice. Uh, next is crafting replays. So if you have Teamcraft on while you're crafting, then it will just record your rotation. So if you did a really good rotation and you're like, oh, heck, how did I do that? Here it is. And you can save it. You can uh, just view it. It's, it's really nice. So here's a metrics dashboard and so I don't have anything here yet because I didn't craft much this month, but let me go back. So here we go. That is a lot of data and basically it just tracks everything. It tracks everything you gathered, everything you crafted. 
and it just tells you how much you also spent. But yeah, you can also uh, edit your dashboard. There's all different types of variables you can input. I don't really mess with it, but if you know what you're doing, you definitely can. Next is... So, back to lists and rotations. If you don't really know, you know, what to make or what to, you know, how to make a rotation or you just want someone to do it for you, you can just type in whatever you want. So I'll just type in Exarchic. And somebody already made a list of everything for Exarchic gear. And Exarchic weapons. And let's go to rotations. Here we go, Seven dura 70 durability exarchic weapons with some high quality materials. So, with my stats, this would fail. So, what I would do is I would open this in the simulator and just see what else I can fix here. Now, this rotation would not work with my stats, but yeah, that's why you would just go and look around what you can do, what you can't do. Yeah, so just mess around, see what works, what doesn't. Just go back, yes. And see, you know, what else. So this is not bad. This would be bad. Oh, this is pretty good. But yeah. So that's it for part one. I'll go over all the rest of the things in the next part, which will be uploaded right after this. So I hope the video was alright. Uh, don't forget to like subscribe and comment if you want to thank you so much for watching